All right, as you can see, our next career mode is gonna be with Leicester City. Now, this career mode is gonna be a little bit different from the ones we've done recently on the channel. First off, we're on PC, now using mods. We're using Pfeiffer's Realism mods, so we have a bunch of new player faces, and uh, player values are better. CPU transfers should be more realistic too. Basically, the mod makes too many changes to list. So I'll leave a link in the description in case you're interested, but it makes so many great changes to career mode. So that's the that's the big change we're making in this in this series. So we're back on PC, we're back with uh, mods. And the other change is I want, I want this series series to be like more than two or three seasons like i want to do a series that is like like four or five seasons so for us to do that i think in this series each season is going to be like maybe five or six episodes and instead of showing every game and simming every game like on camera i'm going to sim a lot of games off camera like maybe whole months at a time like in this first episode my plan is to get somewhere near towards the end of october in this episode maybe even into november and then in the next episode we will do the january transfer window so it's going to be faster paced but because of that we're probably going to end up doing like four or five seasons in this series plus i want like the youth academy to be a bigger part in this series for those players to have a bigger impact the series has to be longer so in a four to five season series we're really going to see the youth players we sign we're going to see them develop so those are the two big changes for this series pc mods and then shorter seasons but more seasons so if you guys are excited for this series drop a like on the video i would appreciate it so leicester city last two seasons missed out on champions league football by like the last five games so we're in the europa league this season but in real life leicester have made some great great transfers first being daka very promising striker he looks so good kind of like a future vardy replacement so daka is already on the team uh, they signed uh, bertrand from southampton we're going to sign him in this series too he'll probably be our starting left back in this first season yeah this team is set up set up very well for us i feel like we could maybe use a new right winger in this first window and now this is a little bit controversial i've transfer listed telemans i feel like he could maybe leave leicester in real life plus we signed him in our liverpool series and i don't really like using the same players in uh in different series so because of that he's on the transfer list we'll find out if we sell him or not in this episode but if we do sell him i do have some pretty decent replacements for him in mind but in terms of the starting 11 barnes vardy madison and dd evans soyuncu Pereira. i think those are the only players that are untouchable so bertrand left back telemans or his replacement at that center mid spot and then uh, maybe a new right winger and then in terms of the bench we're going to try to sell west morgan and sign a new center back too we're not going to go crazy with transfers though in this first window we're going to try to sign players that lester have signed in real life or they're linked to also really quick the transfers have been updated i think most of them have been updated so sanchez at May united hakimi is at PSG. Um, Aguero was at Barcelona. So most of them should be right. Maybe we're missing a few, but most of them are right. So right off the bat, players we need to sign. Ryan Bertrand we need to sign. And then also Sumare from Lille. He has signed for less than real life. He looks pretty good too. So we're going to sign both of these players up for sure. And then we have some possible Tielemans replacements at center mid here, but that depends on if we sell them or not. And then a few more. But first, let's sign up Bertrand and uh, Sumare. All right. So Bertrand has been signed up and also Sumare has been signed up as well. All right. So we are into the next month and we let some players go so we let thomas go out on loan we sold fuchs to getafe west morgan went to norwich and then we sold two youngsters that weren't quite good enough for this team yet so we just let them go so bertrand and samara still are only two signings and we don't have that much money left we actually only have like about 10 million and still no offers for telemans we still have a whole month to go through but as of right now it looks like telemans might be staying all right so first scouting reports and all of these guys look absolutely terrible all right what about the other one only three and they're all terrible okay that is not a good start to our youth academy search but we should get more we should get some better players soon also another thing about the youth academy uh, eventually when we do sign players and we promote them what i want to do is give them real faces so we can take a player that kind of looks like them that's in the game and put their face on them so that the youth players you know they have their own face kind of get more of a connection to them rather than just the ea generic face all right so jeremy doku has agreed a one-year loan move to leicester city so i got an alert that doku was being looked at by Union Berlin on a loan deal. So I was like, why not? We need a winger. Why not? So we got Doku on a one-year loan. It's a loan to buy option. So we're going to use him this season and the next season, if we want him, he's only going to cost 12.8 million to keep him. That's even under his value right now. And hopefully he grows a lot this season. And if we do sign him, that will be a that will be a very good bit of business. That is our third player brought in, Jeremy Doku on loan. All right, so Slimani has been sold to Ibar. That was another player gone. But we're already at the first game of the season, and that is against Spurs. And uh, still no Tillemans offers. So as of now, he's staying, but that can always change. Right, so first game against Spurs, we have to play this game. Got to play the first game of the season. So we are playing this uh, this series on ultimate like usual, competitive mode on. And the realism mod does make the game a little bit harder through the mod, but we're still using the same sliders or close to the same sliders we used on uh, Xbox. So 
CPU sprint speed acceleration on 55, shot error on 25, pass error on one, and then their goal capabilities on 70 and their first touch control error is on 25. Our user sliders are unchanged. So these are the sliders we're going to start with. Could be too easy, could be too difficult. We'll see. All right, so first game, I think we're going to run with this formation. I'm gonna feel, I feel like I'm the most comfortable with the 4-3-3. So Bertrand comes in at left back and then Sumare is on the bench. And then Doku is in the reserves. He might get his debut in this episode. I'm not sure. But uh, Dak on the bench, probably get his debut in this uh, first game. And Tielemans, no offers yet. If we get an offer for him after this game, he could be gone. But as of now, he's still in this team. So Leicester v Spurs, the official start to this career mode. So they're playing peace check at center back from Dortmund. That is an, that is an interesting signing. But first game on ultimate competitor mode on with these sliders against Spurs. I feel like this might be a tough one. All right. Very first game. My game is kind of lagging for some reason. I don't know why. I've not played FIFA on PC for a while, so we might need to uh, iron things out a little bit. But this is a this is a pretty tough game. So the realism mod makes the CPU play a little better as it is. So that on top of our sliders, I don't know how this is going to go. But as usual, we are going to find out first game of the season against Spurs. It'll be a good first win. Yeah, the game, the game's lagging a little bit. I might have that fixed for the next episode. So if it messes up in this episode, it is what it is. Yeah, I haven't even played FIFA in a while, so this just feels this just feels weird. But this Leicester team is not bad. We should challenge for top four this season for sure. That is a that is a no doubter. Failed to do it in the last two seasons. We're gonna try to do it this season. Hopefully not with those kind of passes though. All right, Bertrand, get that to Tillemans. Survive this long. I have a feeling he's not gonna survive the rest of the win though. Though I just have a feeling. He's on the transfer list and he's a very good player. I feel like oh that pass was that should have been a chance. He's just so high rated. I feel like a team's gonna come in for him and then I'm gonna let him go. But we will see. Okay, their defense has actually been pretty good to start this game off. Yeah, I've played next gen FIFA for like a few months now. This on PC feels like a complete different game. Like it feels so, so much slower. Probably be a good thing though, more of a challenge. It's a good ball into Harry Kane. This might be their first attempt. That is an attempt and Schmeichel saves it. All right, corner being swung in by Gareth Bale and Schmeichel will catch that and that's gonna be a foul on Kane, I believe. Yeah, I'm excited for this series. I'm excited to have a series that's like four or five seasons long. I think the most I've ever done is four seasons. That was with uh, Southampton in FIFA 20, my first actual series. So I am excited. Okay, my passing is terrible to start this, to start this game out. Right, I'm excited for a series that is uh, that is longer. All right, last 20 minutes, Spurs have kind of kind of woken up in this game a little bit. It's a good through ball. That's going to go to La Celso and Soyuncu is going to get that. And we're going to get that out to Harvey Barnes. All right, Vardy, make a run, make a run. You're making a run. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Our first chance of the game and Loris is going to save that. It's going right back to him, but he does save that. Now, Jamie Vardy was an 87 when I started this career mode. Now he's already in 86, so he is going down, which is not a good thing, but we have Daika as a future replacement. But all right, that is the first half, nil-nil. KG start as usual. See how things liven up in the second. Let's see if we can string together some better passing in the second half. I feel like the passing was not good enough in that first at all. Give that to Barnes, get that to Vardy, slip that to Tillemans, maybe not. Go back to Ndidi. Yeah, the game feels so much, so much slower. It's going to take some getting used to. The next gen FIFA feels so much faster than this. Ah, that's a good ball into the south. So that's a shot by Kane. I don't know. That was skewed and that's going to be our throw in. Honestly, a first game draw against Spurs would not be the worst, but this looks like a decent chance. Okay, Harvey Barnes, you have some room. Take that shot and Harvey Barnes drives it wide. Look at our manager though. He has a real Leicester City manager outfit though. That is courtesy of Pfeiffer Zero as a mod. That should be in the game by default. They should make like uh, manager outfits that are actually like themed towards the team. Like that should be in the game by default, but it's in the game through uh, through modding with at least. No credit to EA though. Right, Perez to Jimmy Vardy. Flip that to Madison. Get it back to Vardy maybe. That pass was maybe a little bit too much asking of Vardy there. All right, 20 minutes left. Still no nil. Defense has held up until this point, but uh, the attack has been attack has been kind of slow i would have expected a little bit better in this uh first game but that could change that could change oh if you would have went for the volley that might have been a chance all right first substitutions of this series james justin on left back for bertrand daka for vardy and then under for perez just some fresh legs last 15 minutes give uh, daka his debut so then we'll come on next dead ball and we'll see how this last 15 minutes goes i feel like a draw though against spurs would not be the worst result ever all right jimmy vardy get that to perez Give that back to Vardy. Get that to Perez. Might try and cross this in. Flip that into Jimmy Vardy. That did not work at all. All right, Spurs are controlling this ball. Subs are still not on. They're just passing this around around us. That's going to be won by Ndidi, and we're going to get this forward. No, we're not. That was not the right pass. All right, passed right to Pereira. That's going to go through to James Madison. 
Get that to Ndidi. Can we get that to Jimmy Vardy? Yes, we can. Play that to Madison. Slow this down a little bit. Subs might knock it on. Might have one final chance here. Didi, get that to James Madison. Goes for the shot. That is blocked. Can we flip that to Ndidi? No, we cannot. All right, so nil, nil draw against Spurs. Not the most exciting game. Not the worst result, though. Not the worst result. All right, right after that game, PSG come in for Tillemans for 40 million. Now, because it's PSG, we're going to try to get like in the 60 range. But I feel like the fact that we had him in our Liverpool series makes me want to sell him in this series just for a little bit of change. All right, Pochettino, how much do you want to pay for Tillemans? I'm going to ask for 60. It's PSG. We got to highball them. Let's do 65. 65 million for Tillemans and they want 40.9 psg you got way more money than that you got way more money than that let's try 57 40.9 they might not be budging what about 52.5 okay pochettino says no to that i don't think i want to get rid of them for only 40 million i think it would have to be in the 50 or 60 range so once again for now tailman's survives all right so we are at transfer deadline day i've already simmed all the games in august this is basically how this series is going to go we're going to sim games and then we're going to go over all of them at once so the game after spurs was united we lost that 2-1 at old trafford and then we won our next two games at Norwich and Brighton 5-1 and 3-0. So two wins, a loss, and a draw to start the season. But we've also been dealt our first blow of the season because Soyuncu got injured in the last game with a broken toe. So he's going to be out for eight weeks. So our best center back is out for two months, basically. And Telemans still no offer. He might survive this first window, actually. I think at this point, I'm not selling him. So Soyuncu is out for two, two months. We have Fofana, who's a very good young center back. Now, now I'm debating if we sign like an emergency emergency center back with the rest of our money because we are on transfer deadline day so our third choice currently is a Marte. he'd be our third choice and then a fourth choice would be probably Ndidi I think he would be our fourth choice or we could put Ndidi at center back and then put Samare at CDM that is something we could do as well we might actually do that instead so Fofana will be on the bench Ndidi will play right center back with Evans and then Samare comes in at CDM I think that is what we're going to do instead actually that's I think that's the realism mod things are going to be tougher in this series probably tougher than any other series so i'm very much looking forward to that i mean if we did sign an emergency center back the only player i think that was linked to lester is diakabi from valencia he'd only be six million he is young kind of like Fofana and his wages aren't that high. We might, we might pick him up because he's only, he's only valued at 6 million. All right. So we ended up signing the Agabi from Valencia for only 6 million. So now we actually have four center backs, Fofana, Evans, Soyuncu, and Diakabi. And then we have, uh, we have Ndidi to slot in if we need him to. But I think while Soyuncu's out, we're going to play Ndidi at center back and we're going to run with this lineup. So I think we might be done on transfers now. Didn't want to go too crazy in this first window, definitely. We do have some money to play with in uh, in January. Still, if we sell Tillmans, we'd have much more to play with too. All right, so transfer window is over. We brought in Doku. We let Thomas go out on loan. We sold Wes Morgan, some other young players. Books, Slamani were sold. And we brought in Diakabi, Bertrand, and Sumare in this first window. So the other top deal is Di Maria going uh, to Real Madrid. Back to Real Madrid. Sergio Roberto to Bayern. Bailly to Bayern. Um, Orban to Crystal Palace. That's a really good signing, actually. Bednarek to Leipzig and then a bunch of small transfers but all right that that Soyuncu injury might hurt our progress in this first few months but this team is still still pretty good I feel like in January I might target a right winger a new right winger but for now I think I think we are good all right so next scouting report these players do not look that good either though they're a little bit better but still not good enough to sign and then next one same exact thing these players are just not good enough our scouts aren't that bad I don't know why we're only getting those kind of players maybe that's the realism mod making uh, youth players a little bit more rare good ones because we have good scouts we have two four-star scouts at least so maybe maybe the next one will finally get some luck but all right now we're going to make some progress i think we're going to sim this whole month and then uh, i think to end this episode we're going to play this psv game i think and then the next episode will start with either man city or arsenal and probably sim some of those games and get into november and december so that is the plan so we're going to sim this whole month of september and see how we do all right so iose perez is now out with a broken elbow so so that's for five weeks it is it's not the worst injury but that's still five weeks from a from a starting player so i think under will come in for him and start instead of him and then doku will go to the bench okay we have suffered another injury and it's to a starting 11 player yori teleman is out for three months with a torn groin we also have a transfer offer for him from wolfsburg okay that is that is that is a horrible injury that's three months now it's gonna be like basically if we sold him because he's gone for that long okay that that is tough that is that is very very tough so i guess pride has to come in for for now and that is that is a that is a tough 
injury. Yeah, Pryor has to come in now, and then wait. We wait for Siunchu to come back. When he does, he'll slot in at center back, and DD will go back to being a CDM. Man, that is tough. That is three injuries. Perez. Telemans and then Soyunchu. That is tough. That is very, very tough. So selling Telemans might be the best option now because he's out for three months. And in January, we could replace him and not worry about him being injured. So that is that is something that is something to think about. All right, next scouting report. Tom Will, 87 potential. That is not that bad. And then Elliot, he has a value of 725. So that's not bad either. I think we're going to sign Gwilt. It's not Gwilt, it's Gwilt. So we'll sign him up. He actually looks pretty decent. And then from England, Joseph Wyatt, 93 potential. Okay, we're looking better now. We're looking a little bit better we are going to sign him up and then sam hayes 85 potential 17 you know what we'll sign him up too so gwilt is 59 rated that's not bad for a for a center back 63 it's pretty pretty damn tall it's got decent speed he actually looks pretty decent all right he looks pretty decent hayes is 52 rated wyatt's 55 and then this guy was here from uh from like the he was just here to start with i don't know if you know who he is but uh these three guys they don't look bad they don't look bad at all all right so in the month of september we drew with everton 2-2 we won our first europe the game 2-0. We drew with Wolves 1-1, then we beat them in the uh, Carabao Cup 3-2, and we lost to Liverpool 3-1. So we're sitting like mid-table, but I mean, the start we've had, Spurs, United, Everton, Liverpool, and Wolves, that's a pretty tough start. And then we have Man City Arsenal in the next episode. I think after those games, then we play Crystal Palace, Watford, Leeds, Brentford, Aston Villa. We're going to pick up some points in those games, I think, to bring us back towards the top i hope but we're gonna play this game against uh, psv to end this episode second europa league game and then we're also gonna switch up the formation for this last game so we have a lot of cdms so it makes sense for us to play two cdms in our formation so samari and didi both in the midfield and then madison pushed up to be the cam barnes vardy under other than that it's pretty much just the same so it's now two cdms and then fofana will come in for this game at center back and then diagabi is on the bench also the plan for this series too is we're gonna have new kits every single season i think i forgot to mention that earlier but yeah new kits every season but all right our first played europa league game of this uh series we're gonna see if we can beat psv away from home all right so we won our first europa league game so did psv so whoever wins this they will uh, take first spot in the group we're gonna try this formation james justin comes in doku comes in on the right wing first time using uh samare too so we'll see how this goes we drew our first game with uh spurs i feel like this game this game should be a win that is what we're gonna try and get also hopefully score the first goal in this uh this career mode hopefully we score the first goal in this episode that would be nice that was not a bad cross that's gonna go to harvey barnes harvey barnes is gonna try and shoot that and that is straight at the keeper and fardy will play that to barnes that's a very good ball do we have someone to aim for we have doku i don't know what that was madison to vardy oh we cannot put that in that was a that was gonna be a decent chance once again all right corner for them that is a that is a high corner we we do get that out that made me a little bit nervous can vardy kick this on yes he can he is fast, but I don't know how fast he is. He is 34 years old and not as fast as Rosario, apparently. Yeah, like I said, this this game on PC, I'm going to have to get used to this. This feels so much different than what I've been playing the last, like, six months. Kind of feels better in a good way, though. I just got to get used to it. DD, that's such a good tackle. We're going to wait a little bit. Give it back to Ndidi. Give that to Vardy. Can we play that through to Madison? Yes, we can. This should be the first goal of this series, and James Madison has scored the first goal in this series. At least the first goal we have scored. All right, that pretty much all came from Ndidi making a good tackle and stealing the ball, and then Madison. It's a very awkward finish, but it's still a good finish. Yeah, I feel like Madison, with this formation, is, is getting into a lot better spots than that first game. So, so far, so good. One nil lead in the 28th minute. All right, Harvey Barnes, how much pace do you have? I mean, he's not the quickest, but he does have some pace. What is this crossing like? What is this crossing like? That is a good cross from Harvey Barnes, and Vardy puts that in. All right, 35th minute. That is that is 2 0. That is the worst celebration I've ever seen in my life. But that is that is 2 0. We actually scored from a cross in FIFA. That, that feels that feels pretty good. Okay, my defending is looking a little bit shaky. It's looking a little bit shaky. That is off the post, and we're gonna get this out. And yeah, my defending needs to be a lot better than that. That's a good ball, though. Can we capitalize? Barnes, get that to Madison. Get that to Vardy. Oh, we took so long to pass that. What happened? All right. Second half begins 2-0. They could have scored. Uh, they could have got one back there at the end, but they did not. And I ran straight into their player. Okay, they're coming out. They're coming out hard in this uh, this second half, but we're in a good spot. 2-0 up. Just, I want a clean sheet, though. I want to keep this clean sheet, and then I will be happy. Also, Ndidi is so good in this game. Okay, they're pushing numbers forward. Their center back's actually defending this pretty well. He defended that so well. 
It's just the two on one and we executed that perfectly. Madison gets his second. That, that defender actually played that very, very well though. I mean, he played it as best as he could. The last second he went towards Madison, we just waited and then Madison finishes it. Yeah, you can already tell in this formation, Madison is going to play better. That is 3-0 in the 51st minute. I like it, I like it, I like it. Madison, yeah, they're, they're pushing numbers way forward right now. Try to get back in this game. And it, okay, that ball is not that great to Harvey Barnes. Can we cut in? Can we get the shot away for four? No, we cannot. Keeper makes the save and that's going to be a corner. Yeah, we did not execute there at all but daka will be coming on for vardy first change daka is going to be a big part of the series especially because this is like going to be a four to five season career mode he is going to be a large part so we're going to try to get him his first goal in this first episode corner is swinging in that is right to daka just can't reach it that is into doku another player who might play a big part in the series and his shot is is blocked yeah they are they are pressing like crazy though like absolute madmen that is not the greatest pass from uh, Daka. Samara right to Daka. Can we play that to Ndidi? Yes, we can. Flip that up to Harvey Barnes. Can't put his head to it, though. All right, final two changes. Pryat on for Madison. And then uh, Stanye is on the left wing for Harvey Barnes. This game is pretty much decided. It's just, can we get this fourth? The way they're defending, it looks like we can, even though I can't even can't even connect those two players. By the way, Samara has had a very, very good game. I am impressed with him. Here is Daka. Can he do it all himself? Can he do it all himself? Can he score the goal? He better score that, and he does. So, the new Leicester signing Daka scores in our very first episode. All right, so on these sliders, we know we can win. This is a 4-0 win, a very good 4-0 win. That is good for our confidence in the, in the next episode. Good for it. All right, only one minute left of, uh, of added time. Can we get five? No, we can't. The ref blows the whistle. I was going to play that down the middle. Could have scored number five, but I guess not. But that is a that is a 4-0 win. That is a good, comfortable win to get in the very first episode. I'm happy about that. All right, so this is where the first episode of this career mode is going to end. Next one, we have City Arsenal. Very, very tough games. So we'll probably pick one of those to play in the next episode and then make our way probably through November into December. So we're sitting in 12th. Not the greatest start to a season, but like I said, our schedule to start the season was so tough. So things are going to lighten up and we should pick up some points and i mean we're still only five points off of fourth and uh four points off basically fifth through eighth so we're right there i think in the next episode we will climb this table a little bit oh yeah one more thing if you guys want press conferences back in the series you gotta let me know in the comments you guys want them back they will be back so let me know about that in the comments and also leave transfer suggestions for january because if you don't get to that in the next episode we might do that in the third episode we'll already be in the january transfer window but i kind of want to get there in the in the next episode we'll see i feel like in uh january we might go after a new right winger i feel like feel like that is what we need the most i think so so young is gonna come back he's gonna slot in at center back and then samari and indeedy played good in that game so i might try that combo in the midfield in the next episode too but that's it for this one so if you guys enjoyed this first episode drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you have not and i will see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day